Hello everyone, I just want to put it out there, I'd like you to subscribe to my channel. It would be very appreciative. Uh, give your thumbs up and thumbs down uh, on any video you want. Leave your comments um, for as much as I can and I have the time. I'll read through them. And the better I get, maybe the better the content I can give. Hard to say. Ow! It's perfect. There we go. There goes a minute or two. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. But there's not full clamshells, unfortunately, but there's just thousands of pieces of clamshells around here. Oh, okay. You mean like old petrified or? Yeah. It's oh, okay. Turned to rock. Oh, I imagine it's washing out of the, uh, I imagine cliff. it's washing out of all that cliff up there. Yeah. Well, the big thing to do then is to be, we should be climbing on the cliff side. <laughs> yeah. But like I said, one guy found an alligator. Uh, that is so cool. Yeah. But you can really see the shells in them. Like yeah. that one's really good. And you just handed him that one there. Yeah. This is, uh, I wonder if this, this looks like a big piece that slid off then from somewhere up there. Yeah. So the sandstones that above. Level there. Yeah, the yeah. sandstones above it. That's pretty cool. You know what, that's funny is because that's actually what I thought about doing while I was here is walking through just to see. Well, yeah. But you know what, I don't think I would have noticed it. It's full of this too. Yeah. You can see the clamshells. I, I don't think I would have ever noticed this shit if, if uh didn't have you along, I'm sure of it. Because I, I would have, like, you might have, it's not something like, ah, maybe, you but might it's have something. I've seen one brown one like that, like I did too. At first, I thought it was flint. And I oh. Thought, Holy shit, look at all the flint. And then I looked a little closer. <laughs> nope, that's not flint. Man, this is interesting shit that's in here too. I don't know what the fuck that really is, but like it almost looks like uh, it could have gone to coal too. Oh, maybe. You know, but it might just be dirt. Yeah. Like oh. Old dirt caught up inside there. Oh, yeah. so, yeah, like there's there's things. your rust that that way it came from in that little groove right there you can see that groove there and then you can see rust water coming through there so you know there's a lot of iron in that crap anyway something got washed yeah. out one look time. at that one layer right in between yeah. oh right up there you know, that's cool eh? that's neat oh yeah layer. yeah that kind of looks like a bone that definitely looks like bone the way that is yeah, yeah. what was that uh like a layer of clay that hardened? Yeah. Like look, yeah. look right here even. Yeah. I thought this is pretty wild. Buried like, them all and killed all them. All white and still got the shell right there. Oh, Piles yeah, of shell. Cool. Yeah. There's another one right here. Just, just all over. Amazing, amazing. See, I guess when I was here this spring, I should have just stopped by and looked and seen this out. Yeah, that's cool. Hmm. Nope. Let's see how far we walk in and see what else we get. See, I guess after. <laughs> yeah. Just forever. Let's think of all the clam chowder back in the day. Amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Unbelievable. Mm. Yeah, it's got to be at least two and a half feet deep in here anyway. Go away, horse flies. This looks like that little layer we see when it comes up. It looks like it comes down right here where it's washed through that layer where it changes with all that rock. Mm -hmm. 
you can actually see through the water here you can actually see how the clay is a little bit different on bottom or shale i guess if you can see in it you probably can't like giant slices Oh, there's a neat little washout spot. That's kind of crazy. Almost like something came in and dug. And up here's another one. Kind of neat. So while I was up in Dauphin and we were doing that uh, fossil hunt, I stopped in at a store called Black's. It's a sporting goods store and I'm not going to say the full name and stuff. Um, and I purchased this knife. It's really nice. I just fell in love with it when I seen it and I just had to have it. But um, it's custom made by a fellow out of Dauphin. Um, sorry, I don't want to put out the name because I don't have permission to put names out there, but I just want to show it. And I think it's absolutely gorgeous, like nice and flexible blade. That's what I was looking for, something with a flexible blade, but that is just a beautiful piece right there. Like I fell in love with that and I just had to have it. So, you know, it, maybe I'll use it later on, maybe I'll just, put it on a shelf maybe i'll be filleting fish in a day or two with it hard to say but just wanted to show it it's, it's a beautiful beautiful piece uh, i really loved how flexible that blade was for it because i had one and the blade was really just too stiff for me to do what i was doing uh, I'm, I'm really feeling i'm looking forward to using this when i get the chance and beautiful leather work whoever did the leather work i gotta commend you on it that's beautiful